One of the big challenges in um, climate communications uh, for, for this work is that you, um, you have to um, strike a balance between informing and advocacy. So uh, when you inform on climate, you have to bring a lot of bad news. Uh, when you want to advocate on solutions, you have to bring good news. So right now in 2019, uh, we have a really hopeful narrative uh, that's coming together around exponential advances in renewable energy, in electric vehicles, in green bonds, in divestment, all kinds of things like that. We can really um, get a sense that the economic transition is on. Uh, and, and I think everyone in this room probably would like to believe that and hope that it will continue on the path. Uh, but um, if you're watching the oil and gas sector, uh, which a lot of people in climate advocacy tend not to do, um, you may notice that there are some worrying signs. This fast growth in renewable energy has made big oil wake up to the fact that uh, renewable energy is actually now a serious competitor, whereas a few years ago they were considered as sort of a minor irritant that nobody needed to bother about. So we need to pay attention to this. Uh, and. Um, big oil is actually starting to step up. Here's a reminder, big tech is always making the right sounds about climate change. This was Satya Nadella from Microsoft uh, at the point when, in 2017, when Trump pulled out of the Paris Agreement, and he says it's um, an urgent issue. We remain committed to doing our part. So this was an article in Gizmodo last month. Um, I would urge you all to go out and look for it and read it very carefully. Uh, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft since 2017 um, have been joining the oil and gas uh, gold rush. And I was personally pretty shocked when I read this. Uh, so much for do no evil. This is kind of the last nail in the coffin, right? Uh, uh, and they are cutting huge deals worth billions of dollars um, to use to, to basically get these companies to help them apply AI to cutting production costs and becoming more competitive with new renewable energy. So what if um, the financial sector could become a force for good? So here we have a recent headline in the Financial Times, which uh, I found quite inspiring. Uh, I love this narrative, money managers are the new warriors of climate change. Um, and I actually believe that we have a, a big uh, gap in the information ecosystem on green and sustainable finance. Uh, and filling this gap will help to accelerate the rewiring of the global economy towards sustainable business. Uh, I think the potential of the financial sector to drive change is tremendous, especially given that advances in the policy sphere uh, have run into some obstacles and in many places seem to be slowing down. Um, right now, um, a lot of people, there's just an understanding gap and an information gap, and there's no sort of translation interface with other communities. So for example, um, there's no Wired magazine on green finance. We don't have an IPCC for the finance sector. Uh, uh, so um, New Zealand is ideally placed, I think, uh, to provide such an information clearinghouse. Um, so who knows the conversation in the room, the, the, the website, the conversation? Uh, a few people. Um, it is um, a non-profit media platform that was created in Australia in 2011, and its mission is to kind of get academic research out of journals and out to the general public through sort of journalistically written articles. And it's free, you know, if you're a researcher, you can just uh, send your ideas to um, the conversation and they will put them into a nice journalistic form for you. Uh, this uh, thing, starting from Australia in Melbourne with kind of support from the RMIT, has spread to seven countries, including the US, the UK, Indonesia, and it's growing quite fast. So I would love to see New Zealand um, to do something similar, uh, to help create an information clearinghouse on green finance, um, allowing it to spread and replicate across the world as this sector grows. So I'd like to invite you, uh, please come and talk to me if you are curious, if you are interested, if you have a point of view. Uh, and um, this is an early stage idea of mine. And I, I would love to talk with some of you about like who needs it, what form it should take and how. So thank you very much. <laughs>